and welcome to the second LP I've ever done. This took a while to get going, the video screwed, this is like my third try uh, playing through the demo, Battle Kid 2 demo. A anyway, I start off, this is the, this is the demo within a demo, it's a little weird. It shows off game mechanics. I, I just got an item that lets you climb up walls, which, well, th that specific type of wall. This is the feather fall that slows your descent if you hold up. Whee! Um, there's four items here. The next one it seems like it's going to be incredibly situational. This isn't water, it's some kind of sludge, it's called. If you get that item, you can move around in it like it's water. And that's it. And a double jump, which is always nice. The annoying thing is, of course, that none of these items are actually in the demo. Just this little thing here. I tried to slow it down so you could read all those little boxes that pop up if you care. And there's his Samus-esque ship. This is going to be a little bit of a cutscene here. He looks nothing like his sprite, <laughs> which is amusing to me at least. And this is actually an intro stage, basically. There's a boss at the end, but it doesn't... Those four, or rather six skulls at the top of the screen, at the top right, are the... They represent bosses. You kill them, they get marked off. And there's a boss here, but he does not count towards that total. So, and, oh, and those, all those buildings in the background, they remind me of something. I, I want to say Mega Man X, but I, I don't, I'm not really sure. Maybe one of the classic Mega Man games, I'm not positive what that reminds me of. But yeah, the intro stage reminds me of Mega Man X, where you go through a, just a basic stage. You really fight a boss at the end, but it's not a particularly difficult boss. And you don't really get anything for the trouble. And that's what this is. Most of these screens are pretty easy. The trick is, after the boss, you actually have to backtrack to your ship. And there's most of the rooms are slightly more difficult on the way back. And here's the boss. It doesn't take very long. He's a guy. He apparently has a power suit too, but his actually, his actually does stuff, unlike... Timmy's, which just makes him look like Mega Man a little bit. He throws those little electric things, and he turns it, when he shines like that. He turns him invincible temporarily. So what I find interesting is the fact that he changes colors like the other bosses, but it's his clothes that change color. I don't know. That that's weird. I thought. And there you go. I beat him. It's actually the first time I ever beat him without dying. I actually do really well in this playthrough, just in general. Uh, I, this is, like I said, the third uh, attempt at playing through it on camera. Uh, he, what's that noise? There was no, there's no actual sound. Then there's a ship, but then he teleports instead of taking the ship. That, I don't know, that kind seems weird. Um, the first two attempts were pretty bad. The, the first one I caught early on that the recording wasn't working outright and I only got like halfway through it. The second one I died something like 70 times, which might amuse some people. This, that's the only room that's really easier. Maybe that one too. This one, if, you're, if you rush, you run on top of the little robot guy and die and it's kind of cheap. This one, this guy is actually kind of difficult to get past without getting shot. It's the one difficult screen if you're not careful on the demo really. I mean not the not the demo the intro stage here. Now I'm gonna get back to the ship pretty soon. But yeah it was about seventy three deaths and the file was really long, would have been like three. Probably had to split into three. Because I, I, I believe you you're not you have to I don't believe I'm allowed to upload infinite length videos like, say, Cooper apparently is with his Pokemon Let's Plays that are an hour or two long per video. 
he he let he lets play the entirety of uh, Pokemon White, which and the, which the entire the entire series has got to be like two maybe even three days of time. There's no little transition there; you're just instantly wherever this is. Timmy says something, and then the real first stage, if you want to call it that, starts. I go up here just to show it. You can't get anywhere up here. I don't even know if you can climb that wall at all. You certainly can't in the demo. The XY coordinate system again. Still not particularly useful. There is a map, though, here. Oh, this is a teleporter room. The first game has them too, but it's blocked off in the demo. This dem the second game's demo actually lets you use one. There's no point to it, but there's only two locations. That's room A, room B is right near the end. And once you get to, to the second one, there, there's no reason to go back to the first. There, it's the demo. You're not going to get any upgrades that lets you go to new places. No, it's just a waste of time. There's me showing off more blocks I can't get past. I guess you need keys for that? That's what Cooper says in the first game. He read because he read the manual, which I don't have, because I don't have the game. This the first game's demo had those eye blocks too. This one has those and eye eye blocks, which I guess Roman numeral two blocks instead. I don't know what I expected to use to get past the eye blocks in the first game. I guess I was expecting to some just my first death. Oh, and it does have the password at the bottom, but I don't think there's anywhere to input the password. So I think that password is just filler. It's also much longer than the first game's passwords. The first game uses an eight-character password system. Which, if you're going to have a password system, it's really nice if it's short, simple passwords. Not, not like Metroid, where you had something like 24 characters, maybe? Narcus Sword... Yeah, that sounds about right. I think it's like two lines of 12 characters each. It's been a long time, I'm not sure. I was actually incredibly tired when, when I recorded this, because it was, again, my third try. And it, it, it the video didn't end up working at first on that one either, but then I figured out how to get it going, which is nice probably could have actually gone back and fixed the old videos if I had taken the time to figure it out. Oh well, too late. And I I did really, really well on this playthrough, but there are, I do still get a bunch of deaths, mostly really just me not paying attention. I, d I went back there because it's actually easier to get past that ball if you just run, because you you'll automatically fall right where it isn't, and avoid the shots at the same time. It's a lot easier than trying to time that jump because it's a really tight jump. It took me a while at first to figure that out. I think I did it by accident the first time. I was like, oh hey, I can just skip that. That's nice. Right, th this is an another jump with me just n not paying attention and messing up the timing. You're going to see a lot of those. Whereas, the stuff that usually gives me a whole lot of trouble, I did really well on. I think only th there's a second boss coming up, which is, I guess, the first boss. Of the first real boss. Marks off the little... Oh, there's That's the first time I ever die doing that. Usually I just fall down and I make it. That time I don't know what happened. But, uh... I recording, my recording got interrupted, but... Hopefully I'm picking it back up at the right place here. I'm seeing myself shooting those two little robots and dodging the bullets coming out from above. Hopefully that lines up right. I'm, I don't know the first thing about editing. I'll probably screw it up if I try to fix it. So hopefully I'm in the right place. Uh, I'm still at the area where I was making really sloppy mistakes. Dying a lot. I... Yeah, I believe I'm about to get... Yep. Cut up with the spinning blade thing. I was a couple pixels off. It's actually a pretty easy room.
most of these are actually fairly easy. I just really wasn't on my game, which is kind of ironic that I, I start off so bad and I'm so tired and I wind up with the best playthrough yet, somehow. It, I don't know. <laughs> Once again, uh, I miscalculate where I'm supposed to be standing, get shot, I suppose, in the crotch. Dodges the bubblegum colored magic floating ball thingy. Shoot some robots. Dodge some bullets. Jump on. I don't know if those are supposed to be glass platforms that they crack and shatter when you jump on them. Probably something like that. I don't know. Little eyeball guys who kind of. I, I don't know. They they're they're not their heads, but their bodies kind of remind me of lions lying down. I don't know. I take I take some time on that because I'm like I'm getting tired tired of dying here, and I finally get to another checkpoint. Hurrah! Waste time shooting blocks I can't break. This is uh, one of the simplest rooms in the entire demo, and it's of course so of course I jump on I, I time it completely wrong and die again. That just said my sixth death, which uh, conveniently the de the Battle Kid 2 demo keeps track of your death, so I'm not gonna have to go back and count them all, which is really nice. Yeah, the, these guys, this room is mm, it's kind of annoying. It's kind of like that room in the first demo I had so much trouble with. It's not quite as bad, really. I I, I do die a few times here. Th those are basically the same monsters. I think it's the same graphics, but they they fight differently. They instead of shooting out three shots in a, in a certain pattern, they shoot out one shot where you are in a straight line, right at where you are when it fires. So you have to just move every time it fires, and you won't get hit. But it's a little tricky when there's two of them like that. And also they they take two shots instead of one. Now this is another room that it looks it, it looks like it's hard, but it's actually really easy. But I, once again, screwed up completely. It's what I was doing. It was kind of a that was the game plan. Get all my deaths out on the easy stuff, so that when I get to the actual hard parts, I do really well. It's like I don't know some kind of weird, not really karma. There I am getting killed by that guy. I really could have just <laughs> jumped and made it across pretty easily. Instead, I was dodging that guy's shot over and over again. So you get to watch me go through that screen some more. See, that's all you have to do. It's not that bad. I really appreciate that you can stand parallel with that guy on that screen take them out before you even try to go through the room. I don't think it'd, it'd be very hard to get through the room without killing him, but it, it's convenient. You don't have to worry about it, making a nice little easy, relaxing room. Like this one. This, the first time I got here, that room I had trouble with, but it's actually really easy. Okay, here's the boss room, the last save. 